Hello, it's Keith from Kinvert, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to change out the filament. So the first thing that we want to do is flip this printer around so you're facing the front, make sure the focus is here. And I'm going to preheat this, so I hit down, this is not a touch screen, hit the middle button for OK. And for the nozzle, now you got to choose this for your own filament. For whatever reason, we got to do this at like 240 degrees. So I'm going to hit that, and you don't need to bother heating the bed, just the, uh, the nozzle for now. And yeah, we'll give that a minute. I will fast forward this little part because uh, we're just kind of watching the paint dry, waiting for this to preheat, and we will be back in a second. Okay, the temperature is almost there, so I'll describe what we're going to do. First, you push the plastic in to get some to melt so that you know that it's melting in there, and then you start to yank it out. We're going to have to use the uh, little turn thing. So now you can see that it's heated up. I'm going to turn this to this side now that it's heated, and you'll notice this uh, extruder assembly right here. What I'm going to do is squeeze in this tensioner so that it's no longer tense on the plastic because right now I can't really move the plastic. It's being held. So now I push this and it releases. I can start to push in. Let's see if you're going to be able to see. Is my hand blocking? We'll see if you can see the plastic melting or not. And the plastic is now melting. Hopefully you see it coming down. See that plastic coming down there? Because what I'm doing is pushing it in through here. And you can see my hand getting closer and closer. I'm pushing in that plastic. And you'll see this plastic kind of melting down, hopefully. Am I in the light? There we go. All right. So we melted the plastic. Now we hold the tensioner again. I'll click on that so it focuses. Hold the tensioner and just pull the plastic out. Now don't just let it go. You don't want it to get tangled. Still holding. There we go. And you can see the melted end there. And now what I'm going to do is just kind of snip this off at a 45 degree angle. All right. And imagine now that uh, I actually did go ahead and swap colors. I mean, I don't really care about that right now. I'm just showing you how to do it. And I will turn this so you can see the, the hole here. Is this a good angle? So there's a hole that you put this plastic into. And I'm going to put it through there. And now I squeeze the tensioner down. And I should be able to pl push the plastic in. Now you're going to push it, push it, push it. Maybe even a foot of plastic or something and sometimes it'll feel stuck. There it actually went in properly. If it gets stuck, hopefully you'll see the plastic now melting out the bottom. Um, if it feels stuck, you might have to take the plastic out and recut it at a different 45 degree angle, um, kind of in the opposite direction, because you're just getting snagged on something down in the uh, assembly down in here, the actual uh, hot end. Um, it could be getting snagged up in there. So that's how you swap out the filament. You first preheat, and in the case of this plastic and this printer, I don't think it's got a very good thermocouple. We go up to 240 degrees in our case. Um, use your melting temperature for your plastic and your printer. And uh, yeah, then you push in the plastic to make sure it melts. You want to get that plastic melting so that you know that nothing is stuck in there. Because if, if, uh, if it heated up and then cooled down slowly before, it could actually be adhered to the inside of the nozzle. So make sure you melt some. Hold down the tensioner, right? By squeezing this, it releases the pressure from the extruder gear. Pull out the plastic, cut it, and then put in whatever new plastic you're getting. Make sure it's cut at a good angle. Push it in, holding the tensioner till it melts, and you should be good to go. Keith from Kinvert going over how to change the plastic in a Monoprice Mini Delta. Hope you found this helpful, and we will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.